I definitely agree with um, this video. A lot of what we do is we try to feed emotional needs with nutritional sources or non-nutritional sources. Most of the food that I choose to eat when I'm not feeling happy or whatever, it ain't no carrot. But I thought that it was very um, insightful that you find something, actually sometimes it's someone that needs you so that you can fulfill your needs. If we can just get outside of ourselves sometimes, I found just even in being on YouTube that my most successful insights for myself are the ones that I'm giving to someone else and then the light bulb goes off in my own head. I'm like, wow, I could just be encouraging to them separate from myself and then realize that the things that I'm saying to them are actually for me too and try to apply them as well. Um, I have been doing well this week. I have uh, started working out with a trainer uh, along with my Jenny Craig to try to really, really maximize my results um, and eliminate excuses for not fulfilling my goals. Uh, time making time for myself was the biggest was one of my biggest obstacles now I find that having a trainer to come to me because I work from home during my lunch break and work out with me keeps me on a schedule keeps me regimented she's very affordable um, I don't know how much how long I'll be able to consistently be able to work with her but for the time that God is providing for me with her, I'm going to definitely take advantage of that. Also found some group activities locally that I'm able to participate in for free. Um, there's aerobics class at two churches that I go to throughout the week in the evening. So I really look forward to um, making a lot of progress and continuing to be supportive to everybody else on their goals and their progress because it continues to strengthen and encourage me. I didn't get to go this week to my Jenny Craig appointment because I just had to cover for someone else and I had a lot of things on my plate that were not typically on my plate, but I did continue to um, eat properly. I had some backups uh, food, so I was able to make my menus from that. I'm going to go in and do an express and I just really have managed to stay on track and hope that I can continue that with you guys' help. Um, I feel like I am losing weight. Um, I feel like my shoulders are narrower and definitely my neck and everything is thinner. And um, I'm going to do, excuse me, I'm going to do a full body shot later on. I'm trying to figure out how to do it um so you can see every you know see everything and all the progress and all the toning and stuff so i'll do that later and um i'm just glad i'm just trying to fit in exercise in conventional day-to-day -day life um like saturday i walked for like eight hours in carowinds with my son in the rain and made a point that when i was going from one point to the other that i would sprint you know, there would be some casually walking and stuff like that. But then when we had a designated spot that we had to make it to another designated spot, we would actually race or sprint, um, me and my son and some of the other um, people that were out there. So just getting that heart rate up and keeping moving in the midst of something I had to do, chaperoning the kids in the midst of the rain, which was really good. Um, just trying to be consistent, getting up, staying on plan finding ways to successfully integrate the wants, you know, the stuff that I want. Found a 100 calorie um, low fat ice cream, which is the skinny cow ice cream that I can offset with some of my Jenny Craig stuff, take out some of those calories and put those in so that I don't feel deprived. Um, but at the same time, I'm still maintaining my caloric intake 
just being conscientious of what I want to eat, why and when I want to eat it, finding that there are times that I know I'm not hungry, I know I'm thirsty, but the taste in my mouth is like, ain't nothing gonna fix this taste but some grease. Like, I want cheeseburger, I don't want a glass of water. And trying to be cognizant of that and not um, give in so easily to that. Because it's funny, a double cheeseburger at McDonald's is cheaper than a bottle of water. <laughs> A double cheeseburger is a dollar eight. And a bottle of water is a dollar forty nine plus tax. And it's like you out and about and you know that you need the water. But that double cheeseburger taste is what you want and then you just have to remind yourself, you know, it was just really strange that I even thought of that. I'm like, why am I thinking about the difference between a dollar and a dollar fifty? Knowing that the water is better for me and typically I keep and carry my water with me, but when I don't have it You know, I still should make the choice to get it. So just trying to be aware um, It gets frustrating sometimes because like I feel like I just want to think regular Like why do I have to think all the time about you know what I'm eating what I'm not eating? I wanted to snack on something yesterday and I snacked on a bag of edamame and it was actually good and I realized again the edamame is a starch it's not a free vegetable so sometimes it's frustrating oh, like those arms those arms is getting there yeah baby but anyway so inspire others and you will find that you inspire yourself and that's what I found and I think that that's what this woman found, um, her journey from 500 plus pounds to 100 or to whatever pounds she's at now, was that she was able to get into a forum of people that nurtured and appreciated her regardless of what she looked like. And for us, we just have to find our place and realize that we're all created differently for a reason and that... Um, you can be the best you are without necessarily being like everyone else, but you want to be the best, healthiest you that you can be. So my journey started at 250 pounds, trying to work my way down to 150 pounds. And right now I'm at 196 pounds, I think it is. So the journey is a step-by-step -step journey. It's one that um, doesn't happen overnight. And... We all have our own individual journeys. Maybe I'll get to 180 pounds and find that that's a place in my journey that I can live with. But I'll just need to make sure that I'm healthy there and that I'm happy there and really have to do this for me. So I hope that you all are inspired as you have inspired me and keep walking on the water. And congratulations again to you, young lady.